アリスソフト。That sounds like Ramius. It even h a d a what's the tone of Ramius's? Oh! Oh shit, I didn't. I didn't notice the ninja leader! But I'm a s k i n g you! Anyways, welcome back to y o u m a n a c o c h i w Can I wait to meet this lady? Anyway, she's dressed in a snow uniform. Does that mean we're gonna go to a snow continent in this game as well? Also, b o o b i e s in the far back. Uh, other than that, we're gonna do a wings! Quite possibly! So, let's go. Also, I'm very disappointed by this thing. I thought that something I could dress a、uh, Yuragi up, but no! It's just. <laughs> it's just a new set of armor. Ah! I hope we get a lot of, a lot of apparel choices, honestly. Maybe we will. Anyways. Can we do it, man? That's not the right place. This is the right place. Why is there a hand? Ah! I wonder what the other things will be in the future. Now that, that, that I think about it. Anyways, let's go! Yes! And I come in sunny afternoon, Alex has quality working in the examination room of his clinic. Alex, I'm so cool. Coffee. <laughs> uh oh. Alright, sorry about that. Back to coffee. Thanks, Yuragi. Good, good. Ah, Cody. It's delicious. I'm reorganizing my medical records. I thought I might as well, since we don't have any patients. It's not a big deal, really. And it's better to keep things in order. Right. Did you let me leave your breath a little? I need to recharge my batteries. But we're alone! <laughs> right, sorry, I was joking. <laughs> so, is something the matter? I get the feeling you want to talk about something with me. Well, of course. I am your husband, after all. Okay, of course. Tell me everything. Are you not feeling well? You know, you shouldn't feel embarrassed about my treatment. Or maybe it's about us? No worry. It is. We can talk about it. <laughs> And I'll go cry in my room for 24 hours if we have to break up. Ah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What? You're worried about the growth of your breasts? Alex! Sorry, it's just. That surprised me. I understand hearing that the patient is concerned because their breasts aren't growing any bigger. But being worried because they're getting too large? That's a first. Shouldn't you be happy about that? And now I am. <laughs> like their titties? <laughs> you know Hmm, that is true. That means you do have to replace your hammer with your boobs. Oh, 
病気もあると聞きましたももしかしたら私も No worries You're as fit as a fiddle I've given you my word as a medical doctor And a pervert A guaranteed college pervert <laughs> huh? Okay. She's seriously worried about this. I'm happy that my wife was gifted with such colossal bazongers, but. That would be a little extreme, yes. Uh, reaching some unhealthy levels of worry here. I do better take this matter seriously. Leave it to me. I think I have a way to solve this problem. I have to admit, it's quite a unique problem. But. <laughs> it's a doctor's job to work with his patients and make sure they stay healthy. On that happy day, Alex found an excuse to examine Yoragi's breasts to his heart's content. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Yoragi. Thank you for welcoming, welcoming, me, welcoming me to your breast. Our breast task examination special task force. Thank you. Let's put together a short medical history of your problem. Would you like to ask a few questions about your breasts? It may get a bit embarrassing, but please bear with it. <laughs> oh, well, I. Please see that one more time. I love the way that sounds. And I love that she repeated it again. <laughs> Please tell me when your breasts first started developing and how they grew from there on. No way! We're dealing with some real hardcore boobs! Damn. Nice. I mean, I see. <coughs> yep, yep. Very concerning. What about your later 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 years? What? No way! You can't be serious! Hope <laughs> someone didn't rub your boobies just because it was like a magic genie or whatever inside you. Girls! Not a problem then! <laughs> yeah, Yuri's. Pyar. Totally. Oh, that's okay! It must be hard finding bell gear that deviates from standard sizes. Okay, that is a little bit concerning. Seriously? This is a, uh, a bigger problem than I thought. Honestly, that won't be easy. We could start your development by putting you on a strict diet, but that's not healthy. As your doctor, I can't recommend this course of action. <laughs> you can't stop the jiggle physics. Hey, it's still too early to give up. Let's think of a different plan while we have a quick snack. Right. Thanks, Yuragi. 
Hmm. Alex moved to the living room and took a sip of his coffee with our concerned expression. <laughs> coffee. Green tea. Coffee. Green tea. Coffee. Green tea. <laughs> As a husband, I can only feel happy about your life. It's sheer miracles and their incredible signs. She sounds terribly worried about their future growth. I mean, if we think about it for real. What if they overgrow? And maybe she has something that makes the breasts grow? Even... Did I say it? And I want to see her smile. I should prioritize her wishes. Easier to than done though. Think. Think. I want to stop the growth of someone's breasts. This is a problem that needs some good and deep thinking. Alas, those impertinent yet fantastic boobies will be my ruin. What could this tormented husband do to restore his good wife's, uh, wife's smile? I was about to see your bed, but no! This is important. Hello, Granny Tsubagi. Actually, perfect timing. I'm sure we'll be able to find a solution together. Thanks to the experience from your 500 years of age! <laughs> Alex explained you like his problem to the wise, but not so ultra sanitarian Tsubaki. So, any ideas? Come on, nobody knows a woman's body better than a granny like you. So, we need to get some vibrators and put them on the boob. I think I can imagine what's gonna happen if we're gonna go with the vibrators. Right, like many people use vibrating contra contraptions to shape their buttocks. Really? But you like it, may think that a similar treatment is too indecent. Ah, uh, she's gonna accept it. Yoraki? Could I? Ah, me? Like directly with my hands? I guess we're not gonna get any vibrators. We're gonna do them with them strong and fast hands. Alright, if you insist! Actually, I just had that fantastic idea! Oh, so are we getting the vibrators after all? Yuragi, please head to the examination room. I'll be there in a second. Hi! Granny Tsubaki, you're a lifesaver! Thanks to you, Yuragi found the will to fight back against the menace of her breasts. あれこれ手を尽くしておやり。よもいは気からって言うだろう。要は気の持ちよさ。やるだけやったら、あの子も満足して受け入れて悩みから解放されるかもよ。And see, that's a good point. Thanks again, Granny. I'll prepare for the treatment right away. あの坊の嫁って聞いた時は大丈夫かと心配したけど。ゆらぎ嬢ちゃんも大概変な子だし、いい夫婦かもね。Alex <笑> rushed into the examination room really excitedly and closed the door behind himself. An awkward silence welcomed him. Yuragi was sitting on a stool, her cheeks flushed red in embarrassment. Yuragi? Is everything okay? I mean, it's going to be hard for me as well, but I'll do my best to see you through this treatment. Okay, first, please swallow the spell. 
It's a drug that helps you metabolize your breasts' fatty tissues by transforming them into milk. Oh, we're gonna be milking her alive. The medical community is still debating if it has a lasting effect. We have to try everything we can. I'm sorry, Raggy. This pill is simply used to induce lactation in women who cannot sec secrete milk. It has no effect whatsoever on the fat in your chest. <laughs> I just I just want to drink your milk and that's okay with you. But you could think that the size of your breasts has decreased by seeing milk come out of them. And as Granite Sabaki said, the man has incredible power over the body. I need to try everything I can to convince you like that she's undertaking an, an, an effective treatment. And I get some milk and that sweet, sweet calcium. Well then, Yuragi. I mean, bonus with that milk. We're also gonna be eating cookies. Are the cookies still around with us? I think so. We should have some left. <laughs> Deal! Oh, leave it to me! Got it! You like your face to the opposite direction and lower the top of her dress. After I can think I got three breaths, she suddenly turned around, exposing her bare chest in front of her husband. So, so Yes, Alex! Squeeze the shit out of them! <coughs> Alex carries your like the medical bed and proceeded to, proceeded to play with her chest for several more hours. <laughs> I think that was great, I enjoyed playing with them for hours on end. The young doctor carefully checked the like, express size with a measuring tape. Mm. I'm sorry to say that... They were bigger than before! <laughs> it's true that vibrations should help shrink fatty tissues, but... The human body releases more hormones than usual when it's in an aroused state. <laughs> this, was, this result isn't too surprising. Then why did you use the lactation pill? I mean, milk is good with the cookies, but the effectiveness of this treatment may be shocking, but I'll do my best to come up with new therapies and. Raggy finished putting her clothes on and raised her head with a strangely happy expression. Really? What is it? <laughs> the girl's eyes sparkled, sparkled with newfound happiness, proud of the amount of food she could produce for her future kids. <laughs> Uh, at, least she, at least she found the compromise. Uh, the quantity of milk produced by a woman is not related to her chest size. Or well, maybe it is. But then again, he's a doctor. Uh, but how could I ever tell her? Look at how happy she is. <laughs> yeah, that's right! Maybe there will be enough for me to have a taste as well! <laughs> Fuck! But any man would feel like a cute baby in front of your motherly breasts? <laughs> Mommy? <laughs> ah! Ugh, fine, I had to give it a try. Next time I'll try saying that I want to help her practice breastfeeding. <laughs> Good idea, bro. I think that's gonna actually work. Never mind, she knows how to deal with Nope, there goes the practice. Oh well, let's not get she's happy. Oh, Alex learned group medica! Oh! Maybe we, once we get more friends and stuff. 
Is it zero? Yep, zero. Hey, if you use multiple people with medic as power, yields all characters to the five percent of their maximum HP. A unique medical skill only Alex can use. And it does two MP. Speaking of MP, maybe I should level up. Hmm. Nah, I'd want to do one more event. Ah, I can't. I can't. Ah! Ah, oh, yeah, lectures, right. Uh, where are you? Yes. One day after meeting Masquerade and Marmalade, Alex has strangely decided to go check on Raisin's church. Well, it definitely looks like your typical church. Alex had always thought it was a retirement home for all people since they were the only ones who visited it. Hmm. Ah, uh, hello Alex! Are you here to pray? Hey, Yuragi. Not really, I just wanted to take a look inside. Did you come here to help the local sisters? Yes! The girl showed her husband the map she was holding in her hands. I'm on my way back to the clinic after visiting a patient. Want to walk home together? Ah, yes! I've just finished cleaning! Let me put away the map real quick. I'll wait for you here then. Okay. The couple left the church hand in hand, trying to ignore the amused glances of the other visitors. Also, uh, when I finished the rent, I thought I was gonna get something for the Yargi as well. But I guess not. I will. You didn't even pray at the church. Are you sure you don't need to, Alex? No worries. I never prayed until recently. I'll be fine. I'm praying, I'm praying doesn't make me feel any better. Actually, it just makes me feel even hornier. <laughs> Alex laid a tray of homemade cookies at the table while wondering where is the freaking breast milk? I mean, why the prayer assistant didn't work on him? That time we prayed together in marmalade. I still can't believe you let out all that pink mist. It was the first time I saw something like that. Did I really? I didn't even realize. They better change the topic, or your eye could realize that it was because I was fantasizing about masquerade. Here, have some freshly baked chocolate chip cookies. <gasps> Mommy, thank you! It's so sad and still warm from the oven! Alex's strategy worked beautifully. But I have to admit, I don't know much about my Eve since I never went to church as a kid. Nom nom nom. Dad! It's very too. It's hard to hear. I guess. That's a little embarrassing. <laughs> don't worry, it's not that weird. Most worshippers visit the church every week and yet they don't know much about the Holy Mary's life. Really? Yes! Did you know that the tradition of celebra uh, celebrating your birthday originates from one of her rites? Seriously? It all became a common practice after the church of Mother Eve spread around the world. Most people don't realize how much our religion influenced our everyday lives. You sure know a lot about the stuff. It shows how much of a devout believer you are, Yoragi. How come the church isn't uh, isn't taking a more proactive stance with teaching the believers about my, uh, about Mary Eve's life? That's because the Holy Mary didn't care if her kids knew about her or not. The saints always say that as long as we, her children, are living our lives in peace, she's satisfied. Aww. So that's why. Alex noticed that Yuragi's plate was empty and placed more cookies on it. Yes, I'm not the special case then. Could it be that I know just as much as everyone else? That's probably not the case. <sighs> it's just I never had any reason to pray, so I never. But isn't it interesting to see how even non-religious people know about the Holy Mary's name? Well, everyone has heard it at least once in their life. The Church of Mary Eve it dates back thousands of years ago. 
and her believers are basically everywhere. Her name also appears in countless books, and people even use it as an exclamation. You can see that all humans have been influenced by her existence in some way. Uragi devoured three cookies in a single bite as scrums fell into the canyon between her breasts. <laughs> Would it be okay if I taught you about my uh, Eve's life? Sure! It will really help. I'm too embarrassed to ask other people, so thanks. <laughs> I'm glad to be of help. What about the more help of Zerwa's voice? Because I've barely got a breath. So it's nice to see that I can count on my waifu. Alex served the girl more cookies and an attempt to take your attention away from the rosy flush uh, on his cheeks. Duh. So about my Eve. To put it simply, she is a goddess who created our world. But people refer to her as matter, not as a, not a, not a goddess. That's because it's told that she didn't create humans. She simply gave birth to us. I see. And because of that, we call her our mother. Yes. On the other hand, it is told Mother Eve created the dragon race to keep her company. Huh. She then discussed what kind of rules should govern the world and the other races with them. Yuragi mm -hmm. quickly devoured another cookie. Well, it is flared up by her passion for the topic. And after that, Mary Eve gave birth to the first human. It was the first man known as the Ancestor. Then, males didn't exist originally? Yes, some say it's a sexist precept, but the Eve Echo consistently says that only Mary Eve existed in origin. Well, not that I care about which sex came into existence first. Finally, Mar Eve and the ancestor fell in love, giving birth to countless children. And these children... Yes, it's us humans! Wait, this means all humans share a common ancestor? And that's Eve herself? And see, no wonder we call her our mother. Alex nodded, finally realizing the reason behind Eve's style. He then took more cookies from the tray and placed them on the rocket's plate. I'm kinda slowly now remembering about the Eve and the Black Eve and from the previous game. Well, the Black Eve and uh, gives more information. And cool, I think. Oh, uh, cool, also gave us some information. Uh, <laughs> this poor dude! <laughs> If I remember correctly, his body exploded from something, dividing the world into many pieces and whatever. And it's also been divided into pieces. Hence why there was a hand and the sea in the previous game. So I wonder what kind of a part we're gonna find of him in this game. And anyway, still, some people believe that this is only a legend, right? That Matter Eve really exist? I believe she did, but it's an ancient story. Who knows how much it has changed through the ages. Most of what we know about her life comes from a book called The Evenacle. That's also where all her ceremonies were originally recorded, right? And since your rights have the power to change the world, yeah, where well, Eve could really have existed. Yes, I'm glad to hear that you know about about the uh, about the Evenacle. Well, you can't find a copy in every end room in the world. I've never bothered reading it from start to finish though. Hana Fufu, did you know that those aren't perfect copies of the original Ivanako? They're modern versions, heavily edited by the church. I tell me they're also PG for our children's sake. They were created to define the morals and behavior a true believer should strive for. Yeah, it felt like something along those lines. Too bad that I always fall asleep after reading a couple of pages. Uh, uh oh shit! Ah! God damn it! Ah! Ah! I've heard a lot of people see something like that. <laughs> well, what can you? What can we see? 
Sometimes school can be really boring. Alex had tried reading the famous book several times, but always gave up after a couple of paragraphs. <laughs> anyway... Yes, what is it? We then re revealed Juraki's plate while pre preparing to ask a question that had been buzzing in his head for a while. Could Mother Eve still be alive somewhere? It could be. The even Echo just states that she disappeared. She disappeared? Mm hmm. A girl stuck her cheeks with more cookies as if to quell her academic fervor on the matter. She then took a loud sip of tea, ready to tell her husband more. Oh, and completely forgot to mention it's not just that the world split completely, but. It's like the explosion of the husband, I forgot his name, split the world into different dimensions? I think that's how I remember it. So now at the moment we're playing in a different dimension. Even though it's like the same game, the same kind of a story, the same roles, except in this one you will get the hero syndrome. So yeah. Anyways, mm hmm. It is said that Mother Eve gave birth to so many humans that he spread throughout the world in no time. Sounds like a woman who likes big families. Yes, but her children broke her heart because... We started killing each other. Ah, I don't like that part of the Eve Echo. It's too scary. Yeah, that picture is scary, I suppose. Are we talking about the barbaric era? That age of endless conflict between humans? Ah, so you've heard of it. Yeah, excavation sites unearthed ruins dating from that age on an everyday basis. And the relics we find in them. You can't even begin to imagine what they were used for. Alex didn't add that most of what he knew came from the dubious encyclopedia Paranormalia. The Evenicle is a little vague about this period, so there are many theories about what may have happened. Does that mean that even the church doesn't know uh, much about it? Yes. Also, the name Dark Fiend Aiden appears. Oh, Aiden! Ad Aiden! Appears for the first time at the start of this age. Some say that he was a symbolic portrayal of Holy Mary's anger. Dark Fiend Aiden. I remember reading that he was a galactic conqueror who came from space. That's the first time I've heard of that theory. Yeah, same. Uh huh. Some famous professor came up with it. Uh, I think. Anyway, the barbaric era, Dark Fiend Aiden. It is. It said that they were behind the catastrophe that caused the world to be shattered in multiple pieces. Yeah! Except, well... Uh, except he exploded because of... Uh, I don't remember exactly. Human emotions? Something else? Eh... Uh, I haven't played the like one for a long while now. Uh, that's a metaphorical expression referring to the fact that uh, we humans couldn't be, uh, couldn't live in harmony, right? Yes, I think so. After that, the name of Mother Eve never appears again in the Even Echo. And that's why everyone thinks she simply disappeared. History experts treat this story as a religious myth. Let's do like one, two, three. Aren't there going to be three more games after this? Is it like it's cracked in like five places? I don't wonder. Well, others believe that our society was born after the shattering once humanity found a way to coexist. So Dark Fiend Aiden destroyed our old civilization, causing Mother Eve to disappear. That's also why the original Eve necklace preserved in the Holy Continent, away from the eyes of the believers. The church is where the accurate retelling of that age may scare everyone or present a bad example. That was pretty interesting. Mother Eve's life was more epic than I thought. What? Epic? 
Yeah, it's a fascinating, fascinating story. I should try beating the Eve Nickel again one of these days. Really? That's good, but... Ancient civilizations. Mysterious evil demon. She bet that, uh, that it doesn't uh, have a happy ending since Mario Eve loses in the end. But now part of the Eve Nickel says that Mario Eve has died. That's why the church and her believers still pray every day, hoping for her return. So basically, the church is... An organization created by a bunch of kids who are waiting for their mother to come back. <laughs> ah, uh, yes, it's something like that. Kunfufu. I think they're all wonderful people. And I guess I'm one of those shy kids who are always too embarrassed to express their affection. Alex thanked Juraki for shedding some light on Mary Eve's life, but an hour serving of cookies. <laughs> ah! Cookies! What's wrong? I... How many cookies did I eat? Let's see. A whole jar! Alex glanced at the empty tray and looked at Juraki. <laughs> With a smile. <laughs> I made it around 50, so... Something like that? No! That's way too many! Alex! Why did you stop me? It looked like you were enjoying them. So I ended up serving you more without thinking. Alex! Adding more food to the plate of a distracted girl is a big no-no. Sorry. Hm. Your cooking talents are truly fearsome. Fine, fine. I'll be more careful from now on and probably give you a second serving only after asking. Unless you're gonna be stuck like a bird with an open mouth and ask for cookies, then I'll consider giving you more, maybe. I'm dead for There's no way I do ever be able to say no to that. <laughs> you like it that back to that tasty moistness of Alex's. Uh, chocolate cookies and answered with a bird smile. Ah, I know! Remember the mess that we humans generate while praying? Since it comes from our bodies, it must consume a lot of calories, right? Alex! Praying is not a substitute for a proper diet! That's also a big no no! Damn it. Sorry. <laughs> Alex apologized for wishing that his wife could always eat plenty of nutritious food. I have to, I have to apologize for that. Jeez, that's a job my cooking, and we can like uh, exercise by beating enemies and whatnot. I guess I have to wait for an hour chapter or something. Grand, that happens. Oh wait! Wow, the encounter is like super slow. Is it because uh? A bigger level? I guess so. And who for that step out of the map so that I want to capture a can can. Hmm? Uh, oh, 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 shit. Uh, uh, something's burning. Is someone having a barbecue? No! No! Did not meant to enter here? Alex, look! There was just a fire! No! Ah, fine! I guess we're going to. Uh, there's, there's, there's something about it. We're gonna leave all that for the next episode. And then also to can can I'll capture can can in the next episode. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Like, subscribe, comment. Bye bye.